Hey guys, so I recently finished a project where I made a mask RCNN for detecting and segmenting breast cancer tumors from ultrasound images. Um, before I actually like get into the video, um, you should just know that I don't cover any of like the fundamental concepts behind uh, this project in this video. So that would be like CNNs or RCNNs or computer vision techniques. But I have written articles that do talk about those, so I'll link those in the description. So just at like a high level, some preliminary information um, about the project. So it was actually built um, on a model from Matterport, which I'll link in the description, but it's really useful. It's basically like the whole mask RCNN structure architecture like pre-built um, on FPN and ResNet 101. And then I also, I started with pre-trained weights from MS Coco. Um, but those weren't my final weights. And then uh, just like some other information, I, I set the confidence level so that it skipped, the, or the CNN skipped regions with less than a 90% um, confidence. And then I trained the model for 30 epics um, with 51 steps per epic, which took about one and a half days. And the model runs okay, but I would actually recommend training it for um, at least 50 epics. And then uh, I'll link where I sampled the data in the description. I didn't use all of the images from that data set, um, but uh, I did annotate them by hand. I used like about 200 images. And then actually this entire project was based off a paper I read, which I'll also link in the description, but basically they did a similar thing where they used a mask RCNN on sonograms of breast cancer tumors, and then they classified benign, malignant, and normal tissues. Okay, so for a code walkthrough, um, I am using TensorFlow 1.5 and Keras 2.8, just if you're wondering. Uh, so in this file, this is where I train the model. So here's like me just importing a bunch of packages that I needed um, and defining the root directory and also um, logs, the logs folder. So the logs folder is basically like where all the trained weights go. So you can see that um, in here. These are like all the different trained weights um, from each time I like ran this. Uh, and then this is a weights path. So originally these were the pre-trained weights from Microsoft Coco. Uh, but like, as I trained it more, I like updated this. Um, here I define a class called custom configuration. Uh, basically it's just overriding some of the things that were defined in the original architecture from Matterport. So like the number of classes, I have three. So that's for background benign tumors, malignant tumors. Um, and then like the training steps for ECO, ep EPIC. Uh, which is 51 and then also like the 90 percent confidence thing i was talking about earlier this is a class for the custom data set so i i'm just like uh I, i'm adding in more information about the classes um here is where i set the directory for my annotations so um that was in a json file that i annotated by myself <clears throat> you can find that here so these are like all the images and like the training data set and then the annotations for those are in a json file um so uh this for a annotations this basically goes through the information that is in a json file and that um lets me like add in images um these are just for like loading the mask um and also like image referencing so here is the actual function for training the model you can see that i load in my uh, my custom data set so my training data and also the validation data. And then, so as I was training this, um, I actually trained it in like sessions of 10 epics at a time, but I trained it for um, 30 epics in total. Um, it's just so like, I could check to see how the model is doing in between. Um, so you can see that here. And then, oh, the learning rate, the learning rate is the original one, which is 0 0.001, I think. Um, and then I'm calling the weights. And so here you can actually see um, what it was doing while I was training. Uh, and then it took a while. Um, but so like one, one of these like 10 epic sessions lasted about like 12 hours-ish. Um, so it took a while. And then after that, I was able to actually test it. So this is, uh, I basically like replicated uh, the uh, training file, um, but I just changed a couple of things. So um, here I, I called in my final weights instead. 
right? And then um, this just displays some of the information like uh, the images for GPU or like um, GPU count, uh, weight decay, like things like that. And this is just uh, calling in the validation data set. Um, and then I'm loading in the model and then also the weights again. And so here's where I'm actually running the, the train model. Um, so basically what it does, it just calls like a random image from the validation data set. Uh, and then here we can see the different results as the image goes through each layer. And then here is the mask with its confidence. And then also the uh, bounding box. And then, and then this is the ground truth image. So I would say that it was pretty close. Yeah. So if you want to look at the code more closely, I've actually put it in a GitHub repository, which I have linked in the description. And I've also linked some of my socials and my newsletter if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. So thanks for watching.